back to my channel. Let's get into a sacred review part two. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my initial review. We got really in depth. We had some good discussion. We did price comparisons, all the things. It was great. But today I really want to dig into the three products that I did not try so we can get like the full overview of the full collection that she launched. So the three products that I didn't use last time was the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub, the reconstructing treatment mask, and then the one I'm most excited for, this moisture sealing lotion. Um, I asked a lot of you guys what you wanted to see and and on all my platforms, it sounds like most of y'all want me to use it in a wash and go, even though I don't typically use creams in my wash and goes, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it that way. I'm gonna pair it with a gel. We're gonna see how that works and really see what the sacred styler is giving. So this is the one I'm most excited about. So that's what we're gonna be getting into today. This is gonna be a lot more concise and kind of straight to the point. I already got into all like the nitty gritty discussion and details in my last video. So if you did miss that, go ahead and check that one out. This one, we're just gonna, we're just gonna dive straight in. Really quickly before we do jump in the shower, I do wanna test Miss Moisture Sealing Lotion to see if she's gonna work with the gel that I think would work really well with it. As you guys know, I don't usually style my wash and goes with creams and I have just found that I get way better hold. I get more out of my gel from just using gel alone. My hopes are that we can still get some good hold. That's why I have chosen to go with the Innersense I Create Hold Gel. I'm gonna test them first though and hopefully they like mesh well together and we won't get any flaking. But I'm choosing this one because it has a really, really strong hold. My Brio Geo Gel is more like a medium to light hold and I just don't think we're gonna get enough hold pairing it with a cream. Let's do our good old product test to make sure that we're not going to get any flaking. So I'm just gonna put these on the back of my hand. And then we're just gonna mix them together and see what that consistency is giving. This is actually not looking too good. It's not looking like super smooth. So it's giving like maybe it could work, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Wait, should we try the mixture with the Briogeo gel? Let's just see. Ooh, no. Okay, definitely not. So this is what it looks like when a test completely fails. See how patchy and like clumpy and it's like no matter how much I try to like rub them together, it's just not really coming together. Here's a little comparison. Yep, okay. Innersense, period. That's what we're going with. That's the plan. Let's get in the shower. All right, so digging in first with the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. I love this packaging, by the way. The double thing here is so cute. And then you just kind of pop it off. And here is a little nozzle. Just wanna see really quickly, ooh, what the consistency is giving. Ooh, it's nice. You can feel like the little scrubbies in there. They're really like fine. Feels really good. And does this have tea tree oil in it? I'm pretty sure it does because I can smell it. Ooh, yes, it's about to be a treat for my scalp. I'm just gonna apply this directly to the scalp. Oh yeah, wait, that feels so good. Let me add some more water. With some more water, it's definitely starting to suds up like a regular shampoo as well. This feels so good. A little bit ended up going a long way because my full head of hair is actually saturated with all the suds. Already, I feel like I would definitely recommend this product if you want something that's more like scalp specific. Like this is a really nice product to just give your scalp a nice little treat every once in a while. Oh yeah, okay, I can definitely feel why they say to follow up with the hydrating shampoo after this because this is a deep, deep cleanse. Now I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with this hydrating shampoo, which we already know and love. Okay, my favorite thing about that shampoo is rinsing it out. That is really when you can feel the magic happen. So I'm really excited to dig in to their reconstructing treatment mask because it has very similar benefits to the rice water treatment. I feel like the rice water treatment sounds a little bit stronger in terms of the benefits it offers you. Like I think it's like three times less breakage, whereas this is like two times less breakage. I don't know, but I am ready to dig in. It's yellow. Do you see this? And the consistency, like look at this. It'll literally like spill over the edge. It's not thick. This one seems like it has more slip, but it's interesting because this is not the hydrating one. This is the treatment one that you still need to follow up with a deep conditioner after. So I don't know, but the consistency is kind of making me excited. So it says to just apply it directly to your wet hair. So that's what I'm doing. <gasps> Wait, this has so much more slip. This has so much more slip than the hydrating conditioner. So interesting because I feel like the hydrating deep conditioner's texture feels like a treatment mask would and the treatment mask texture feels like a hydrating treatment would. I love how it says on the back though, in like all caps, this is not a deep conditioner. <laughs> this is literally just a treatment for your hair. You know what's crazy? This like turns white. 
Like it starts out yellow and then it turns white as you're applying it in your hair. What type of science and voodoo? I am so shook by this texture and the way it feels in my hair. It feels so good. Um, so it says to leave it in for no longer than 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my shower stuff. Let this sit in, do the work, and then we'll be back to dig into the hydrating deep conditioner. I love that treatment mask. For Sacred, it seems that my favorite products and the products that I feel like I'm most impressed by are their treatment products. They're so good. They feel really balanced, but still very effective at the same time. Even though you do have to finish up after this with hydrating conditioner, I don't feel like my hair feels like straw. My hair feels balanced. So I love that. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I did not leave it in for 20 minutes. There wasn't like a minimum amount of time. It just said to not leave it in for longer than 20 minutes. So I probably did about like a five to seven minute. Because let's be so for real, I'm not spending 20 minutes in the shower just waiting for a treatment to work. I'm just not doing it. I'm sure it's fine. And it just, it feels like it's fine. It feels like it got the job done. Time for the deep conditioner, which we did use in my last video. So I'm gonna kind of zoom through this fairly quickly if sacred had already launched the hydrating conditioner that's sitting on their website saying coming soon that's definitely the product i would be using today not necessarily another deep conditioner but this is all we got and i do want to keep this full wash sacred so wait you guys look how cute this hairstyle is i feel like as my hair gets longer i really love the idea of like uh what's this half up half down situation it's so cute let's look at this hand time that's crazy that's crazy that's absolutely insane. I am a little curious to see if maybe this deep conditioner feels a little bit different to me after using the treatment mask. Mm, I mean, it's still kind of feeling the same to me. <laughs> I don't feel like I have any extra slip there. It still literally feels the same. Okay, my hair feels really good. It kind of feels the same as it did last wash. Like it just feels really nice and balanced. It doesn't feel like, you know, like it feels moisturized, doesn't feel weighed down. It just feels really good. Now it's time for the exciting part, a little style experiment with cream. I am, I'm actually really excited. I hope this comes out good. I want my curls to be juicy. I want them to be defined. I want there to be insane shine. I want there to be no frizz. And I want this wash to last us a long time. Let's see if we can achieve it. All right, we got our first section here. Hair is soaking wet. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply about this much of the moisturizing, what's it called? Moisture sealing lotion. But I'm gonna apply it to like this big section as a whole. And then I think I'm gonna apply the gel on top in slightly smaller sections. This is so weird, applying cream. It feels really good. I feel like this cream like a little bit goes a very long way. It's like a rich, nice cream, but it doesn't feel like it's weighing down my hair either. I'm seeing a little curl definition happen, but it's still like, look at how fluffy. Like there's no way that I could use this on its own. Like there's just no way. I think I'm gonna rake in just like a little bit more water. Oh yeah, much better. Now we're like soaking, soaking. Cause this Innocence gel works the very best when your hair is like super soaking wet. So I'm just gonna take a small section at a time and apply some of the gel. Okay, yup, yup. This feels really good. Feels nice and juicy for sure. I feel like there's extra slip with having the cream underneath it. All right, it's definitely feeling a little heavier than my normal combo, which means drying time may take a lot longer to dry. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's like a bad thing. The wash could still be bomb. Curl definition is definitely, definitely there. And I feel like there's a lot of juiciness and moisture happening, so. So far, it's looking kind of good, y'all. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue that routine. I basically added in water in between each step. So water, then the cream, then a little bit more water, then the gel, and that is how we arrived here. If I don't get like at least four days out of this, I'm gonna be disappointed. I feel like the moisture sealing lotion adds like some really good softness to my hair. So this middle part of my hair is like the roughest part of my hair. And so far the moisture sealing lotion is feeling the very best right here. Usually I have some trouble 
running my fingers through this section with the gel, but because we put the lotion on first, I feel like we're obviously getting a lot more slip and it feels really, really good, just especially in this section. Curl definition is coming through as well. Is Sacred gonna put me back on to using creams? And my wash and goes. I mean, it's really gonna depend on how this dries, but so far, right here, like I'm shook. I, I am actually shook by how these curls feel right here. So this is how my hair looks with just the lotion in it with a good amount of water. You can see we're literally like dripping wet. And then this is what my hair looks like with the gel on top. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good. It feels really good. The number one difference that I'm feeling though is that my hair. Whew, it's, a, it's very heavy, very, very heavy, at least like three times heavier than normal when I don't use a cream. I am very excited to see how it dries and see how long this wash is gonna last us. Okay, so I diffused for a good like 25 minutes and I feel like I have my hair to a place where it's not dripping anymore, but it's definitely still wet, especially like on the inside, still feeling a little heavy. Initial thoughts, I mean, guys, this, this, this looks amazing. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm very, very excited to see how it looks when it's fully dry. So far, we may have a new favorite wash and go combo, potentially, which is, crazy to me. This is probably gonna be my last update today. I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow for our day two hair final results. And then I'm gonna go through the entire collection product by product. I'm gonna rate everything and give you my favorites and my least favorites now that we've used the entire line. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it is day two. Let's get into these results. So in terms of drying yesterday, my hair did take the rest of the evening and I did randomly just diffuse my hair just a little bit more on two separate occasions. As usual, I went to sleep with my scarf last night. So let's just take her off and jump straight into these results because I am absolutely shook. My curls are so insanely defined this is crazy. So the main reason why these last couple of years I've just been using gel, no creams on my wash and goes is when I found that I made the switch, I got more curls definition, my hair would dry with a little bit more of a crunch, my hair was lighter weight, it took way, 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 way less time to dry after a wash and go. Um, there were just so many benefits. I felt like my hair was still popping, still nice and moisturized, still great. I was just like, I'm not doing wash and goes with cream anymore because my results were so, so good with just gel that I was just like, why would I ever go back? But this has absolutely changed the game and changed my mind on that for sure. This is a freaking phenomenal wash. And I honestly think it was a combination of the product combo itself. Both products were amazing and I think they worked really, really amazing together. And also the technique, adding more water along the way and not like overdoing it with the cream really gave us some beautiful results. The interest is back for using creams. I really think this combo is something magical that we just discovered. Are you kidding me? I feel like going forward, I will probably do a mix of both. Sometimes I'll do gel only, especially if I need like a quick wash and go to dry quickly. Sometimes I will add a little cream here and there. Let's quickly finish her off with Miss Nourishing Hair Oil. I do have a little bit of a cast, which I am very happy with. We're just gonna crunch her out just a little bit with the oil. If you had asked me yesterday, Melissa, what's your results gonna be by using cream? Mm, probably not gonna be as defined, probably gonna be a little frizzy, probably not gonna last me as long. Eh, wrong. At least for this product combo. This is a good one, y'all. This, this is a great one. The shine, everything. <laughs> I am happy. So Sacred, once again, out here blowing my mind, changing my life a little bit. Really quickly, I wanted to pop in here and show y'all day four hair. You heard that right. I think I'm just as shook as you might be seeing this, but yes, this is day four. I literally haven't touched my hair. I have not refreshed it, nothing. I cannot believe that this is how we're looking on day four. Even when you lift it up, curls are still so defined. It's very, very minimal frizz. 
we have definitely found a golden wash and go combo here that I'm very, very excited about. I just wanted to come in here and show y'all that not only did the wash look good on day one and day two, but we have some longevity in here as well. This wash and go combo is insane. I'm so glad we were able to discover it together. Now that we have used every single product, I really wanna get into like a full rating of all the products and I wanna rate them from absolute top favorite to all the way to like least favorite. I'm gonna give a rating out of 10 for each product and then quickly tell you why. So here is the final tea on the entire sacred collection, starting off with my least favorite. So we're gonna go from least favorite all the way to top favorite. So I have to say, I think my least favorite out of the entire collection is gonna be the moisturizing deep conditioner. Um, out of a moisturizing conditioner, I really look to get a little bit more slip. I do still think it's effective at moisturizing your hair, but it's just, I would like more slip. I'm gonna give her a seven out of 10. If there was a product that you're like, how, which product can I save my money on sacred from? I would say it was this one. Next on my list would be the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. I honestly don't really have much bad things to say about this product, but just comparing it with the rest of the products, this is just next on the list for me. It is a solid shampoo scrub, great for your scalp and your hair. Really, really good to have in your regimen every once in a while to make sure you're getting that really clarifying clean. I'm gonna rate her nine out of 10 because again, she is still very effective, gets the job done. It is a great product, but if you already have a scalp scrub at home, I wouldn't say that you need to go out of your way to buy this one instead. Now getting into my top five, starting with number five, which is the hydrating shampoo. This is so good. She is a solid nine out of 10. I do wish that this had just a teensy bit more slip, but I can't be mad at that in a shampoo. It gives a really great cleanse, but also leaves your hair feeling really nice and soft and moisturized. We love her. Number four, we gotta talk about the nourishing oil. This was like my number two product based on my last video. But since then, we have a couple things that have surprised me and excited me just a little bit more. I do rate this nourishing hair oil though, 10 out of 10. 10. It is so lightweight, but still gets the job done. Smells amazing, silicone free. There is not one bad thing I have to say about this oil. She's amazing. Now getting into top three, my number three product has to be the reconstructing treatment mask. I guess I just have a thing for slip because I was not expecting to get the amount of slip out of this that I did. It felt so good in my hair. And I do think it's a very great product to just kind of add into your regimen whenever you want a little bit of extra treatment for your hair, a little extra repair. She is great and it is just a joy to use it because of the slip, the consistency, the smell, everything. It's just great, it's effective. And I also don't feel like it's overly like on the protein side. I feel like it's still really nice and balanced. I genuinely was not expecting to love this as much as I do, but I think one of Sacred's really strong points are their reparative treatments because. So top three, number three product, 10 out of 10. My number two girly, which I was not expecting at all, is the moisture sealing lotion. Hershey decided to bring her carrot in here so she could eat it with me. Um, so please hold. This paired with the Innersense I Create Definition Gel is, I love our day two results. Frizz wear, my hair feels really nice and moisturized and balanced. And I love this, I love this. Another great thing about this is that I personally, at least the way I use it, I feel like a little bit goes a very, very long way. So I do think you get a little extra bang for your buck because of that. 10 out of 10, babes. And the packaging, I think this is my favorite packaging. This cute like rounded screw top is just, it's just so cute. So that means last but not least, top two but not two, our number one top favorite product out of the entire foundation collection that Sacred Launch. Gotta be the rice water treatment. Specifically, it is called the Fermented Rice and Rose Protein Ritual. That's the one we used in my previous video, the step one and step two. This treatment to me is just, Amazing. This really is the most innovative product here, in my opinion, and I'm just so glad and excited to have this a part of my regimen. I do plan to continue repurchasing this forever and ever, amen. Overall, I'm really, really excited by Sacred. I, again, am just excited what this can do for the hair industry because I feel like they have really elevated some standards here. My hair is eating these products up. I am here for these treatments and this I just, oh, I'm excited. You know there's nothing better than finding a new product line that is just bomb.com in your hair every single time. Also, Miss Beyonce really got me out here just changing my mindset on creams with washing goes. 
the rules are there are no rules but yeah guys that's basically it we love a good wash day experiment turned right we love a good new brand coming into the industry and just snatching our edges really they're snatching the curls beyonce really said let's put these curls into formation <laughs> That is basically gonna be it for this video. Thanks for being here. I love you so much. If you watched all the way until the end and you aren't subscribed yet, what, what's going on? Just go ahead, tap the subscribe button, join the family. I'd love to have you here. I will see all of y'all, same time, same place, right back here next week for another video. I love y'all so much. Bye.